morning guys uh, today we are going to uh, check in the caterpillar c12 uh, the procedure to replace uh, the thermostat uh, we identify the thermostat housing located here uh, this is the expansion tank the cap and uh, those are the connection with the thermostat housing uh, the coolant the coolant uh, flow here enter in the heat exchanger the coolant circulate here and the coolant goes out and enter in the block and circulate internally in the block through the coolant pump uh, this is uh, the thermostat housing uh, we are going to remove the thermostat housing we are going to identify where is located the thermostat we have the sensor located here okay we are going to continue the process one important thing when you uh, replace any type of engine any type of motor any type of equipment uh, is uh, use the service manual uh, if you don't have the service manual don't try to repair don't try to repair the engine don't try to disassemble it uh, this is uh, one of my recommendations the other recommendation is try try to take a lot of pictures uh, today is easy take pictures about uh, the actual situation try, try to make a drawing about the connections uh, because uh, two weeks later a month later when you receive the parts new one you don't remember where are those cables or what is the position of this bulb with respect to this mark with a sharpie different colors the position of the bulb with respect to the case and always 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 check the service manual check the service manual the service manual is necessary the service manual with the content for the engine the troubleshooting is is mandatory is mandatory and also the parts manual if you don't have the service manual don't try to repair the engine if you don't have the service manual always 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 use the service manual and the parts manual that elbow and uh, probably we need to lose, lose. this uh, this clamp yeah, yeah. Okay. because we need to manipulate the pipe uh, now this one is free this one is free okay captain look at this we are going to remove this hose the green hose mm -hmm. because uh, we need to lose this 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 and this to yeah. remove the bracket completely okay perfect. probably the thermostat is in between both of them all right good so we go with this one but we still need to remove this yeah one. remove the hose okay so no this one just this one okay. this one to remove that hose okay but we need that space all right perfect In what scenarios, in what situation you think is necessary to replace the thermostat? Why you think I need to check my thermostat? Um, in uh, in the case, let me see in the case that uh, you have an overheat situation, right? Mm. Because the thermostat okay. is overheat is stayed on the open or closed position. It is it's true, but uh, not necessary. Pay attention. Suppose that you say my starboard engine and my it's running in the, 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 the temperature gauge. It's running always, always in the position that uh, for years is located okay. at operational temperature. However, the starboard engine is a little higher three okay. weeks ago. It's a little, it's not too much. I check the level. I check the level of the coolant in the reservoir. It's good. Okay. I check the flow of salt water. The flow is good. I check the impeller in the, in the salt water side. Okay. The impeller is good. I replaced the impeller. 
uh, I have good flow. I clean the heat exchanger. In other words, the salt water side is good. That's good. Okay. In the coolant side, I check the this this cap, the cap of the expansion tank or radiator cap. In some cases, is a. Uh, I replaced that one for a new one okay. because in some cases the seal here is not good. Okay. The spring not extend properly. Okay. Okay. I replaced that one. Uh, I flush the coolant and uh, uh, for for fresh coolant. But however, this engine is running higher in comparison with this. Okay, the next one, but it's good. It's running good. I use it every day, Just but it's higher difference. than the other one. Okay. okay, let me check the thermostat. Uh, and I am going to, to check the thermostat outside in a, in a pot with water, uh, with the laser gun, and I am going to verify it expand or retard. Or for safety, I'm going to remove that thermostat and I'm going to replace the thermostat. That's okay. it. This is the situation. It's, it's not because, I, oh, of course, if you, yeah. have, if you have overheating, yeah. you need to replace this and this yeah. and this, all, all of those uh, items. But first, but, uh, you this check is the for prevention. Okay. Don't forget, Captain, you need to verify always both gauge, starboard engine and port engine, should be equal. Okay. And you need to be familiarized with the position. Normally, I mark. I mark. You, you mark? No, I just kind of record but, it. Like, you, this you is my running temperature. Oh, yeah. Correct. And, and you are familiarized yeah. with your engine. Always is, oh, this one is here. And always, always, seven years ago, this one well, is a I'll little in that point. But you know that. But if one day suddenly one change, that's not normal. All right? Guys, guys, all right, Captain. What is this? The thermostat. No, mm -hmm. always when you order the thermostat, you receive the gasket and this thermostat. And the procedure is putting back in the same position. Be careful when you put it back, uh, take a picture okay. about this moment, and after that, you avoid put this one far away around yeah okay. that one this is the thermostat that's it it's not complicated see it has this you could do it. you could always Correct. mark it you read and you have cat, look at this this is caterpillar is originally and the range of temperature of this one is uh, uh 86 88 degrees celsius you see 88 okay. degrees celsius so that should be marking out it here. should be exactly the same the same exactly the same okay, okay great uh, because uh, in this uh, example, guys, we don't have a, a, the, new, uh, the new thermostat and the new gasket. We are going to reuse that one. But uh, this is the process. That's, that's, that's it. We are going to uh, clean that one, apply a little grease, and we are going to put it back. Okay. Okay, what is your question, Captain? Uh, how does the thermostat work again? Is it uh, okay, um, you asked to me about the element inside. The no? element inside. Okay, inside. the element have the, the substance, like a wax, that expand and retract. In normal condition, when the engine is at uh, ambient temperature, this element is extended. When, okay. the, when the thermostat is extended, the pad is closed. Got it, okay. Okay, it's extended until the internal coolant circulating in the block and the head reach the temperature, 180, 180 185, something like this. In that moment, what happened with this? Retracts. Contract, okay. retract, and the pad is open. Uh, what elements circulate the coolant? The uh, coolant the pump. coolant pump. The coolant pump, not the raw water pump. Not the raw, yeah, of course, That's the, water, the coolant water pump. pump is for the because raw, the people so. confuse. It's, 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 not the, it's not the raw water, it's the coolant pump. Uh, okay. And the coolant pump circulate, 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 circulate. What happened when this element is extended and, uh, and the pad is closed? The temperature of the coolant increases correct and it, and the and this element is, is is extended and start to retract 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 when it's completely retract the pad is open and okay. circulate circulate so circulate. if this is broken then the temperature of the coolant exceeds the running temperature past the limit past the limits and that's when you have overheat overheating situation. okay simple this is why you need to replace the thermostat what, okay. What's the um, time period on these normally, if, it, if it's not even broken? My friend, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Depends on the, of the use of the engine. Okay. But uh, normally, I, I, 
when I was engineer in, in, in yachts, I replace once per year the okay. thermostat, once per year. In the routine, I take the oil sample, transmission, engine, and I replace thermostat. Thermostat and a radiator cap. That's okay. it. Okay? All right, we are going to put the grease and put them back. Okay, Captain, let me show you something. Uh, here, uh, this is the bracket. This is the thermostat housing. In the thermostat housing, in the thermostat housing, uh, we have a, uh, the coolant temperature switch and uh, the coolant temperature sensor. Look, this bracket, this is this metal, mm -hmm. is together with the thermostat housing. The thermostat is inside of this. Correct. And here we have uh, the temperature, the coolant temperature switch and here uh, we have uh, the coolant temperature sensor. Look at this, this is the sensor. The sensor is in permanent contact with the coolant here. You see, that's the sensor. That, that sensor should be correct. Uh, that sensor is connected with the computer and the computer sends signal to, um, uh, to the gauge, indicating the correct. temperature. Okay, and this one, this one is used only to interrupt and kill the engine. Yeah, only to mechanism. interrupt. What cable interrupt this this switch? The sensor, the, the, the yellow sensor one. The sensor in the in the fuel injection pump. Okay. The sensor, the start stop uh, uh, solenoid. Uh, sorry, so. the start stop solenoid in the fuel injection pump is interrupted with this. Ah, if the fuel no enter in the fuel injection pump, what happened with the engine? Uh -huh. stop. stop. Kill the engine. This is this is. Uh, the the coolant temp, uh, coolant temperature switch and this is the coolant temperature sensor so let me see if i get this straight um so the computer does that if it sends the engine is being overheat as a safety correct. mechanism correct it, it kills the switch kill that the stop the fuel from going into the engine so therefore it can't run but uh, the correct but uh, this switch is an is they, they have another sensor in the button Got when it. the temperature of uh, of the coolant past the limit that switch that is normally closed open and interrupt that cable that cable should be the same color i don't know why the, the manufacturer use different color but should be the same color because interrupt that that current and this is the current that is entering in the in the solenoid of the fuel injection pump in other in other engines that uh, that current interrupt a solenoid in the in the turbo uh, yeah depend how how the engine stop but uh, the majority of the engine stop with fuel interrupt the fuel this is to kill the engine because in in the bottom they have a sensor to sense the temperature when okay. the temperature past the limit open this is a normally close okay. and this is the sensor only to, for communication with the co the computer and the screen that's it okay. that's an indicator. sensor and switch okay. sensor and switch we have the same situation in the oil oil pressure switch and oil okay. oil pressure sensor. Uh, sensor okay we are finalizing the installation that's the process to replace thermostat, to replace the radiator expansion tank cap, and to analyze the coolant temperature switch and the coolant temperature sensor.